wrote him a letter. I said, remember, I've tried to get into Africa for years. Again, feeling that my ministry isn't finished in Africa. I have no, why would I have to go to Africa when I got six, seven hundred cities right here in the United States calling? See, just right here without leaving Canada and Mexico or any of those places. Why should I want to go there? But it's something in my heart that pulls me to Africa. There, those people, uh, there's something about them that I love. And uh, I want to go just for the colored people only. And there's something, and a lot of them leaders, they don't feel I should do that. I, I want to go to my colored friends. That's where the Lord called me. And I, they're needy. Many of those people, those white people, can have doctors and everything. But that poor native live out there in half rock. And I, I, I feel they're the ones that look like they receive it. They're the ones that something about it. When you get to a spot you're so smart that you know everything, then God can't do nothing with you. But if you get to a place that you're willing to listen and learn, then, then it's God's time to move in and talk to you. Amen. And so um, I wrote him a letter back and told him, and I said, remember, at the day of the judgment, let them bony hands reach out of smoke, condemn you. Their blood be upon you, not only me, because I've tried for about 10 years to get back. Then when I mailed the letter, come back, something said to me, see Sidney Jackson take a hunting trip. At the same time the Lord spoke to Sidney Jackson, said, Yellow Main Line, Brother Branham, camping, Durban, big meeting. Well, he was over here. He spoke with you here. By the way, we baptized. He was firmly against this baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, and his wife was worse than he was. She would just walk away. You could, I'm telling you, I've never seen any more devout people. They've got about 150 ministers over there baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And they're just burning the country up. <laughs> the message is just sweeping Africa everywhere. Aviators and great men coming, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ.